welcome you guys so this is my legal section called the maximum product of three numbers okay so given the integer array then we find the three numbers whose product is maximum okay so if one two three then just only three of them so we just times ten and the one two three four we just times two three four okay so you might think this problem is stupid uh but the problem is that uh, there may be some case which is very uh very uh annoying because there may be a ne negative number in our array a negative number in our array okay so okay so uh, so otherwise then the, we don't have to do this okay so the key point is that uh, so first somebody give you array then we first just sort it so we can just sort it okay so once we sorted the array then we should have this start from the minimum to the maximum okay so so i will approve uh i will approve these results i claim that uh, uh once i sorted the array then the maximum just be there are two cases the maximum must be one of these the first one is we times we times the largest the three and uh, the next possibility possibility is that we times the first two and the la and the, the largest one largest one okay so <coughs> the first case is that uh, all arrays are positive okay so definitely if this is the answer then the answer must be x and times x uh, x and minus one times x, x and minus two times x and minus three from this okay because all the arrays are positive so if you want to find the three largest one then you just times the maximum and the, the second maximum and the third maximum and times then then it becomes the largest three products okay so this is what we have and the second case is that all array are negative okay so this is the key point that if all array are negative how about we say example like four minus four minus two minus four minus one. So the the minimum is minus six, minus six because all the array is still uh, is all the array are, are negative. So the results must be negative. So the largest one still still be the be the the largest three of uh, three of them because you all you need to all you already know is the result must be negative. So you need to choose the number which is close to zero and then which is the right one right one okay three so three is that uh, there it, uh, there exists uh, some l naught which is less than zero and uh, which is some l naught l naught till uh then the, the next one is l is larger than one and uh, larger than zero and keep going okay and now uh, what is the the mag the maximum here Okay, so the so the maximum must be uh le uh least two and at least two, right? Because this these two is positive. Uh, these two times is positive. This is the positive. So so in this case, the these two times these two uh uh these two times these must be the maximum. Must be the maximum. And the reason is that the the reason is that the, you know in this case the result can be positive. So, uh, suppose we choose A, B, C, then we know A, B, C is be positive. So I can take this. So I can take A and B and C. So the key is that uh, we want to find. Uh, want to find maximum. Uh, x, which x is in the list. Okay, and uh, this is a positive maximum. This is the second. Uh, the the final to maximum and uh, i uh, we cannot choose we cannot choose these these two times each other because otherwise then we will have something uh negative or or okay so so in our case yes we we can choose we can choose these three so we need to compare these three and the list and the list okay so this is the the common structure and then once you understand this then you can just solve it in a very quick way so basically we just take the result and i will see you guys in the next video